Good morning everyone. We are in Scottsburg, Indiana, just north of Louisville. We stopped last night because we were both getting a little tired and this bed is beyond comfortable. So thumbs up to Quality Inn. Guys, we made it to Mammoth Cave National Park. We decided to just stop right by the welcome sign. There's a little trail to Crystal Cave. This is an awesome museum and actually cool thing found out it said in the 1800s all parts of the cave were privately owned. So that's like 125 years before it became a national park. Guys, bats do not turn into vampires or tangle up in your hair. All right, we have our tickets and are heading to our tour. So we are going into a cave. I hope everybody is aware of that. And we are going into this cave. That means there's going to be some, some kind of some tight spots. If you have any sort of issues with claustrophobia, this may not be the activity for you. So we are taking the two hour domes and dripstones tour at Mammoth Cave and you get to the entrance by a fun little 10 minute bus ride. Just so everybody's clear, um, those 34 steps that we just came down, those are bonus steps. Those don't count towards your 500. <laughs> those to just get you all limber before we go. surface. Those shock waves would pass right through us. Wow. This cave is incredible. This layer of limestone happened to be thick enough that it could support its own weight and the weight of everything on top of it. So this is just the natural bedding plane. But yeah, pretty cool. It does look like a bad government plaster job, but that is my <laughs> This is the frozen Niagara. made it through Mammoth Cave, that was amazing. We just walked through bubbles so we don't transfer white nose syndrome to other caves because we love the bats. Well, the only thing else I wanted to see was a bat and we just saw one flying around. But they also said bats aren't supposed to be out yet. 
So hopefully that's not white nose syndrome at work. We have little salads that mama made for lunch. Brakes are all shaky, so hopefully all we need is some brake fluid. Muscadine. So it's made from the muscadine grape. Um, it smells a lot different than it tastes. Antique archaeology. Unfortunately, now we are getting into rush hour in Nashville. We made it through Nashville and decided we're stopping at Cracker Barrel for dinner. Oh. Gotta do some research. 